With the massive investment in the railways, modern trains need modern methods of servicing. I'm here at Northern Depot in Southampton, purpose-built by Siemens to service the new DeZero fleet for Southwest trains, and it takes maintenance to a new level. To get an overview of the project, I spoke to David Wilson, Siemens Transportation's UK manager. Depot came about as a result of the contract with Yogi Southwest Trains going back to 2001, which was for the supply of 155 trains together with a complete maintenance and after sales for them. And why Southampton? I mean, we came to Southampton primarily because it was on the route, it was a good location for getting trains back, but also it has a highly skilled workforce, which meant that we could recruit the relatively sophisticated skills that we need to maintain a modern day train. The train itself is a modular design, which means that the train has equipment on it that could be very quickly removed. So the train actually spends the absolute minimum amount of time being maintained and the maximum amount of time out in passenger revenue earning service. At the core of its operations, Northern has a computer-based monitoring system. This is used in two ways. As a train arrives on site, its unique identity coding is picked up by a track-based Belize and its position in the depot can then be monitored at every stage from the central control room. The second benefit is that the maintenance history of every train in the fleet can be kept on file. The first thing that happens to all trains on arrival is that they're sent through the washer. Knowing the identity of the train and when it was last washed helps ensure that it receives the most efficient washing program. As well as being clever, the washer is also eco-friendly, with 75% of the water being recycled. A squeaky clean train is now sent to either the outdoor sidings for interior cleaning or directly into one of the maintenance bays. At over 200 metres long and with four bays, the shed can hold up to eight four-car trains and you can see how it's been designed to provide a bright, clean, efficient working environment. Before any work starts on a DeZero, its internal TMS, or train management system, is downloaded. This provides a computer-based log of the train's recent performance and is combined with the data from its service history to enable both necessary repair work and regular servicing to be carried out in one visit. The way that this is done has also been thoroughly modernised, as Eddie Milligan, the production manager, explains. The way the depot's laid out allows us to do a pit-stop approach. We have access platforms at all the levels that we need them. Uh, we have a bogey drop, which allows major components to be changed. The components we take off that have defects on them are actually sent away for repair. Elvin, give us an idea of what's modular on the train. Um, everything below sole bar on the train itself is classified as modular. Even the bogies themselves that the, train, the coaches ride on are classified as a module. Then we've got brake units, traction units, air conditioning units, compressor units. They're all modular. And how has that changed the amount of time the trains are in? it's taken the time down by at least 75% and we're able to change a bogey in, for instance, two hours. And you've got plenty of other procedures in place here, for example, being able to let guys get on with trains without being worried about anything? Oh yeah, most certainly. Um, it's imperative that the safety of the staff is, is maintained. Once the staff have used their data key, they all have a unique data key and they're trained to use it. Before they go on the train, they have to actually log onto a road. This ensures that the train can't change its status or the status can't be changed without their authority. So this is a very, very safe system and it's easy to use as well. And you've worked at other depots. What does make this place so unique? It's all the modern systems. Yeah, I can, I can um, say how clean it is and how new it is, but it is designed for the train maintenance. Yeah, and it's a, a, most traditional maintenance depots have been there 100 years, yeah, and, and you maintain within that facility. This depot is special because it's designed to maintain the DeZero unit. And how long is this one going to be visiting for? This will be released for service this evening. Yeah, so it'll be stopped for about six or seven hours and then it'll be returned to service tomorrow morning. So another example of a nice clean pit stop. That's right, yes. Three more DeZeros fresh from their pit stop and ready to go back into passenger service. And with the aid of constant computer monitoring, Southwest Trains will be able to give their passengers the most reliable service possible.